Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 64. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with, hey, we get some decent music. Um, yeah, pretty sure you're familiar with this if you watch my channel as I've played it on Zero Spectrum and I've played it on the Amstrad the CPC, released in 1988 by Digital Integration and Player Takes Control of Lockheed's YF-22A Advanced Tactical Fighter, which is basically um, the F-22 Raptor over land and sea. Now, here's the thing. Someone was telling me um, in the comment section on my Spectrum version that you can go up and down, you have to use 6 or 7. So I thought I'd have a look, it's the controls, and I googled them, and there's a whole bunch of controls such as Change Missile, um, T for Train, which automatically means your craft, that this is what the personal auto company takes into, you know, the count of the train, so you don't have to worry about hitting stuff, you know. Um, and then you can also jam incoming surface-to-air missiles, which explains why I was getting shot a load of the time. I still don't have any idea what you actually have to shoot or destroy or enemy bases or things like that. But the point is, I can now kind of fly the plane a little bit better. Still can't make it go to the top of the screen, but hey-ho. And I literally played it for 30 seconds because I, I wanted it to become you know, a new experience so I can compare it to the other two versions of this game. Right, so, analyzing war data. There'll be no fighting in the war room. Means absolutely nothing to me. Apologies about the background noise. I do live on the busiest road in the West Country, so bosh. And then status, uh, allied. So you have to defend bases then, I guess, which means can you also destroy your own bases or equipment? So no, possibly don't care. Not going to give myself full fuel because I don't really need full fuel because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get shot down long before that. But we will go for uh, full cannons. Uh, Azram, again, is that air surface or something? I don't know. I'm going to have more Mavericks because don't know so as per usual the main map or the world map is in the bottom right hand corner and above that is the uh localized map and the little thing in the middle the little thing in the middle is your um f-22 raptor field bottom left hand corner sam alarm i'm assuming that flashes uh when sam is after you so your craft has a lot more color than the spectrum and amstrad version but is a lot blockier. However, normally Commodore 64, don't throw a hissy fit Commodore kids, um, doesn't generally do these sort of graphics that well. Right, so now if I press N, you can see in the middle uh, of my, uh, you know, heads up display, I have changed my missiles. Right, so and then M is bar. So that's our ASRAM, which replenish quite quickly. Now if you fire these, I don't know what they're for because I can't get them to lock on for shit. Look at the top of the screen and you can see that, uh, there, there we go, it's finally replenished. Now I've got to put the keyboard so I can actually see it um, because I do need to know when I need to hit jam. Every time I say jam, I feel like singing the rest of the Michael Jackson song. So that's what I'd say. Anyway, up or down, these are the limits of our altitude. And then T for train. Down I go. Now I can just worry about left or right. Uh, and I don't have to worry about hitting anything. But I'm lower. If T again, it's off and I can pull up. If I press T again, I can't pull up. Don't really know what difference that makes, to be fair. If I press J, don't know. And then I know if I press F12... It will give me look. These are some of the, the weapons bottom right hand corner. That's not F12. That's me changing my my HUD and stuff. But uh, if I press F12, it goes full screen, which I can't press because I'm running this on Frodo on my Wii, and therefore if I do press it, um, 
it resets the uh, emulation. So hang on, I want to go over here, and then I'm going to drop my speed a little bit. Queue up, A down for speed. There we go. So obviously you can see them more on the horizon, the little white dots. The screen does it what it does on the Amstrad version, which is every time you get hit, it shakes. Which I'm not going to lie, it's incredibly irritating. Um, and doesn't convince me, I, you know, as a fucking 11 year old, that I'm actually in an F22. If that's what you're going for, digital integration. Also, all these games have copy protection, because digital integration were like bastards for that. But we always circumvented it, and this is, they circumvented it on this ROM. Asked for the same I had to look it up, but it asked for the same one every time, right. I don't know how to hit shit with that. Also, is it just me, or is there less going on in this version than the other two versions? I do like, and it does it in the other versions to be fair, um, I don't even know what targets I'm going for. How to speed up. The scenery changes colour to map that's on the map, which means obviously it makes it easier for you to keep track of where you are. But it's a nice touch, and it, especially on like the ZX Spectrum, um, where you normally have to worry about attribute clash. I'm going right. Again, I don't know. How to identify what? What are my bases and what are other bases? So let's go for Azran. Right, two more targets. Bogies, if you will. I can't get my missiles. I'm going to go for train to see if that makes a difference. Why won't my missiles hit anything? Like anything. Oh, fuel level low. Oh, shit. Press T. So we can pull up. I don't know if that actually makes a difference. Also, I need someone to lock onto me and not use their Vulcans because I want to be able to test my jam. It definitely feels like there's less going on. I mean, I'm going to run out of fuel, but like, I felt more threat on the other two versions. People came after me more with missiles. But I would probably say it's a little bit blocky, but just because they put colour uh, on the craft, it's probably the best looking version, but overall I'd say the Spectrum version is best because it doesn't do that stupid shake the screen shit, shake harder boy, points for the quote, that the, uh, I'm going to get you missile boy. Well, it'd help if I was pressing the right key, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. I can't see where J is. <laughs> I'm playing in my defence. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. In my defence, uh, I'm sat in a darkened room. But yeah, um, Spectrum version play is the better version because it doesn't have that god awful shaky screen thing. I'm sure a bunch of Commodore 64 kids will disagree with me. And the Amstrad version is pretty much on par with the Commodore version, but because it's got that annoying shaky screen thing. But it's a little bit worse because it's got that stupid big silver thing behind the screen thing. Right. Seeing as we didn't really have to worry about anyone shooting us. Uh, oh, running out of missiles, I should say. Awkward pauses. That's the order of the day. I'm going to go with that. Right, so where's J on my keyboard? Above missile, Dave. Above missile. Right. Upsy daisy. And then do I want Trey? Why not? I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything. But yeah. So, again, my overall criticism of all three of these games is you made an airplane game where I can't airplane. What's wrong with me being able to go around the rest of the screen? It basically feels like a hovercraft game. Right, I've done a, have I done a 180? Right, we're going to change missile. Like that. What are we... I, look at it. That's the problem with these games. It's half on joystick and half on the keyboard. If I was playing this back in the day, I would have had my brother... Uh, in charge of keyboard like a co-pilot and I would be calling out commands but yeah I don't like mix that up but then how the hell did I used to manage to play Sinclair Flight Simulator back in the day because I did 
Never say I landed it, but I could take it off. Right. I have a strange a a um, urge because we're over landing scene. Uh, land scene air, if you will, to sing the G.I. Joe song. And to a lesser degree, the Action Force song. Right, come on, one of you bastards, lock on to me. I want to test, because uh, I'm pressing it, and nothing's happening. So, the, the, well, it actually says Sam, so if I swear myself, that's what flashes. So, I don't know what the alarm for is. Did that flash? Well, no, because my fuel gauge flashed. Hey, incoming missile, jammed. Suddenly, I feel, as long as you can work out where the fuck to go and what the fuck you should be shooting, such as, I guess, ground-based targets and shit like that, that this game has become massively easier. I'm about... Ooh, enemy base in... Is that it? Is that it? I'm going to slow down. I don't know what it is. See, I he's going to make... Because I have to avoid his bullets, I'm going to swing off target. Bastard. See, I'm off target now. Right, turn around. That's annoying. There we go. Only... Hey! Twice. The ambassador, he's really spoiling us. Points for the quote. I'll give you a hint. I can't eat them. They give me a headache if I eat them. Right, let's go with Mavericks. Is that an actual real missile? Or are you just trying to fucking ignite some sort of Top Gun buzz? So people go, hey, it's called Maverick. I like that movie. Wave your keys in front of me and I'll bark like a seal. Well, there you go. Like I said, I thought I was under more intense pressure in the other two versions of this game. Where's the bird this feather came from? But yeah, ATF from the Commodore 64. Probably the best looking version. Um, as I said, suffers from the same problems as the Amstrad. Uh, and all of them, which is... I just want to fly around the screen, but it was a massive success, hence the fact that there was a sequel to Omni that I shall try getting to work. Anyway, it's always a love to know what I think, especially if you played this version of the game. Am I still wrong? Can you fly around the rest of the screen? I couldn't find anything other than up, down, left, right on the D-pad mentioned in the controls, and that doesn't work. Turn off the train. That doesn't let me go any harder than that. It's a budget aircraft. Anyway, it's always lovely. I think, especially if you played this version back in the day. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.